What's going on, guys? Um, here's another uh, great review on the Legend series White Rabbit. Finally found my last piece. Um, she's the uh, Demon Goblin Wave. Uh, like all I was missing was the the glider, and she's the one that comes with the glider. As you can see right here, she's the number five. So she comes with the glider. We'll open that here in a minute, but let's take a look at the box. You already know, Hasbro. Got a nice illustration on the side of her. On the other side, and one in the back. <clears throat> Let me pull the camera out back so you guys can see that a lot better. Ooh, sorry about that. There we go. There's the illustration. Got a little side story. If you guys want to pause that and read it, go ahead. Uh, these are the other figures that come with it. Ooh, keep hitting the camera. These are the other figures that come with, um, with it. I already have him fully built. All I was missing was the glider. So I picked her up. This is what it looks like once you have the demon goblin already built. Pretty, pretty nice. Well, not real pretty, but you guys know what I mean. So, whoop, that doesn't go there. So, overall, it's, it's worth it. Buying it piece by piece and putting him together. Uh, I have I have had the uh, demon god of the uh, hobgoblin and the green goblin before, but never him. So it was fun building him and getting it together. But let's take her out and let's look at her. Let's see what's going on. Uh, so here's her. Take her out of the package. Come on. There we go. She comes with a little umbrella accessory. Let me see what's this about. Let's move that to the side. Camera down, son. There we go. Let's take a look at the the umbrella accessory. Oh, let's get that into the camera. There we go. Uh huh. So I'm assuming this is shooting, sort of like the penguin in a way. Now his umbrella fires. That's what it's that's what it tells me. Ooh. You dropped it already. Gotta be careful with these little things. But that's what she comes with. Let's take a look at her. Hmm. Not a bad figure. Not a bad figure at all. She reminds me of Alice from like the like Alice in Wonderland. <clears throat> Sorry. It would be nice to see her and the Mad Hatter together. DC and Marvel come together. That'd be pretty cool because they have similarities, like the jacket with the clock. You know, her dresses a rabbit. So it would be interesting to see. Hopefully, they do something like that in the future. Uh, let's put this in this hand because it looks like it fits in this one. If I can get it, all right, let's open up that hand. There we go, got it. Okay, so there you go. That's her umbrella. Let's see. There you go. Not a bad figure. Ooh, and there it went. Not a bad figure. You know, more than what I expected. 
I thought she was going to be very simplistic, but she has a lot of details to her jacket. Let's look, look at those details. You can see the texture in the jacket. Got a nice feel to it. Doesn't feel <clears throat> doesn't feel like just basic basic plastic just put on there. Nice ripples to the jacket. Actually, it looks like she's wearing it versus just draping over her. The bows is it's a nice touch. Not feeling the boots so much. I don't know. I kind of want to see more out of the boots. It looked like they were lazy, you know, just half-assed and just there. There's the boots. I don't know. There's always room for improvement on these figures, but this one right here, yeah, I could definitely need some improvement on the boots. I'm not, I'm not really feeling the boots. So, but outside of that, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, let's talk about movement and articulation. So, her leg only goes up that high. You know, about yay high, kick him in the chest, you know. It's not bad. Then, bends at the bottom of the kneecap, upper of the kneecap, to bring it back some more. The foot bends. <clears throat> it moves at the... Uh, Upper thigh. I like it better when it moves in the, in the middle of the thigh. I don't know. What do you guys think? Then at the elbow, but the elbow only just moves one joint. It doesn't have, you know, that one, two, three. It just has that one and that's it. The arm only goes up to about that high. I don't know, maybe because the jacket's in the way. I don't know. I don't want to force it to snap the arm off. See, this one goes a little bit higher than this one. Yeah, see, it doesn't it really doesn't go that high. So that's that's a fail for me. Kind of want to see higher on the elbow, on the arms to pose her. Hand is good, you know, just like all the other figures, the hands move. Then what do we have? Torso moves as well. But it's kind of hard to do due to the jacket. But now the head also. It moves about that much. Then it rotates about that much. And that's it. Because you got the bow. The bow's in the way. So for her to look down, can't. Look up, can't because of that. So this character as a design-wise... As movement, it's very, very limited. So that's that's a big problem for me. Because if I want to pose in a certain way, I can't do that. Because she's so limited to her her mobility. You know? But now, when we're talking about... Uh, Design-wise and detail is good. Outside of the boots, as you already as I already said, uh, the watch could use some improvement. Looks too simple. I don't know what you guys think. Look, it's just very, very simplistic. There, kind of want to see more ripples on the here. Give more design, maybe like a little darken in here to separate the, the corset and her underwear or shorts, whatever you want to call it. You know, so <clears throat> it has its ups and downs. One out of ten, I want to say like a six or a seven, I will give it because of the hair. The hair is well done. Nice shading on the hair variation. Looks very uh, like a statue type. Face is well well painted too. But overall, this this character could use some improvement in certain areas here and there. Um, far as what go comes with the build is the the glider, the glider for the demon goblin. 
and what looks like to be a stand. So let's let's move this out of the way. So this is the stand that comes with it. And then this is the glider. See this, I, I, I see that they, if they put enough effort like this on here to her, so much better. Because I see that they put a lot of, <clears throat> lot of details as to like moving. Because it, it, it's made out of fire. His glider's made out of fire. How? I don't know. It's just the way it is. So, but anywho, it clicks onto here. Come on. There we go. There we go. Like so. Or do it this way. There you go. Like that. Kind of balance the weight. And we can just prop her up there. And there you go. That's um, the white rabbit. Um, just for kicks, he's not part of this video, but it is his accessory. So let's go ahead and put Demon Goblin on there. So you guys can see how, how he looks. Uh, let's see, hold on. See, this is why they need to have a lot of mobility. Because if you're going to pose them, you got to be able to do it. There we go. There we go. That's that. That there. There you go. We got that. And got her too as well. Let's move that foot. And there she is. Ready to hang out with Demon Goblin. So, overall, not a bad figure. Um, the build was fun. I did it more for the build than for her. Um, you know, that's that's what they gave us. So, got to take what we can get. You know, no big deal. But like I said, that, that the character of, in of itself, as far as design-wise and, and certain details, could really use improvement. But Demon Goblin is on point. I like how they did that. I want to see that more on their actual regular character, not just the build. So, but um, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, always remember to subscribe, share, and like. Put it in the comments which character, which Marvel character you like, which Goblin you like best, which one you don't like, which one to you is just a horrible figure. <laughs> Um, and which one is, you know, the one for you? For me, it is, is this one. This, this, this goblin, it's, it's for me. Like I said, um, I did it more for the, for the build than the actual figure. So, um, put it in the comments, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.